Jonathan here. Welcome to the second video in the running video series. I am super excited to discuss this topic, which is embracing the athlete mindset. I believe this topic, this focus, is the most important part of your journey as far as running your first or your best 5K, 10K, half marathon, marathon. Once you get this approach dialed in, at that point, you can accomplish anything you want. I honestly believe that, okay? What I'm talking about with embracing the athlete mindset is the whole thought process around how you train, how you live, how you sleep, how you eat, how you stay hydrated. In developing that athlete mindset, it's something I discuss a lot in online boot camp, but this is a game-changing focus or way to live. Please note though that I'm not talking about perfectionism, I'm not talking about being a freak or sleeping in some altitude tent, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about stepping out and looking into your life and looking in at the key components that lead to your wellness and your energy and your health and your vitality and viewing them like an athlete views them. I will go through each of the key areas, okay? Food is nutrients. It enables your body to thrive. It is impossible to become a high performance athlete, which is exactly what I think you are right now. High performance athletes do not consistently put garbage in their bodies. It doesn't mean we're perfect. I'm not even close but they view food as nutrients. It's like rocket fuel to enable you to crush your workouts and enable you to be your best self, okay? Hydration, our bodies are mostly water. We wanna stay hydrated. That helps keep your immune system strong. It helps you nail your workouts. It helps you perform better within your workouts. Hydration is absolutely key. Sleep is probably the most important one within this list, which is if you're not getting seven plus hours of quality sleep, it's nearly impossible for your muscles to bounce back from workouts, and it's nearly impossible to show up in a positive state and to crank through your workouts or your runs, okay? The last thing is positive content what you read, what you listen to, what you watch, and most importantly, who do you spend time with? Are they empowering or are they disempowering? You can't kick your family out, and I understand that. Some of you are surrounded by negativity even in your own home, but what you can do is minimize that negativity by hunting down your best self, by cranking up your energy, by nailing your runs, by nailing your workouts. When you are in a more energized and positive state, Life in general is less annoying, including negative people. Now, if those people are supposedly friends, then start minimizing your time with them or decide that you deserve a friend's upgrade. This part is incredibly important. You cannot thrive with people talking you down. You cannot thrive with people being negative around you because you get sucked into that and it's like a vacuum sucking all the positivity out of you, okay? From this point forward, I want you to embrace the athlete mindset. I don't care if you're 350 pounds right now, I believe with every fiber of my being that you are an athlete right now. Nothing to do with fitness, nothing to do with your weight, everything to do with your mindset. View your body as your tool to thrive. You wanna nurture your body with hydration and nutrition and sleep and positivity so that you can feel remarkable and you can perform remarkably in your training and ultimately in your 5K, 10K, half marathon or marathon, okay? Embrace the athlete mindset. All right, keep up the great work and I will see you soon.